hi all welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making some lovely banana cake this is the easiest recipe for banana cake because basically you throw everything in a bowl and just mix it up stay tuned so you can see this banana is really black it's overripe this is how you need it to get the best taste in banana cake trust me on this just chop the banana up into small pieces and throw it all into your bowl. I'm going to put all of the ingredients in the description box with the measurements. Next, just I'm just mashing it up. Mash it up as small as you can get. If you've got like a potato masher, that'll be even better. But I've just got a fork, which will do the job perfectly. So with the flour, I prefer to sift it in. It just gives a better crumble structure when the cake is actually formed. So yeah, just go ahead and sift in the flour. Now all the ingredients are added, you just whisk it all together. Just mix it until the batter is smooth. Can you see how easy this banana cake recipe is? No creaming of sugar, no creaming of butter. Just put it all in your bowl and mix it together. Easy peasy. So I mix the batter for about five minutes on high speed and that's it. It will smooth and nice and you just pull it into your lined baking tray. If you don't have um, greaseproof paper, you can just put butter and flour into your baking tray. I'm using a loaf tin here. I'm not sure of the size, but it's just um, a regular size loaf tin. So I just moved the top of the batter. I don't know if this makes a difference in baking, but I just always do it. I just feel like it makes it rise a bit better. And then I just give the bake tray a couple of bangs in case there's any air bubbles stuck inside of the batter. That's good to go. So make sure the oven's preheated on gas mark four for one hour. See you soon. Wow, so amazing. Look at this cake. To make sure your cake's ready, get like a toothpick or you can use a knife and just pull it into the center of the cake. If it comes out clean, that means your cake is cooked, but it's not ready to eat yet. You still got to let it cool down. But look at this cake. It looks wonderful. It smells beautiful. So I've let this cool for about 10 minutes and I'm going to take it out of the tray. See how easily that comes out? Nice and easy. And putting it on a wire rack. Now I'm going to still let it cool for like another 10 minutes. I'm absolutely a cake lover. Like this cake just looks so beautiful. It smells so good. If you can smell my kitchen right now. But the real test is to see whether it looks good inside. So I'm just going to cut this open so we can see how the crumble texture looks. And whether it looks good enough to eat. wow 10 out of 10 definitely and me i love the edge of cake you see the back part of cake that's the best part for me with some custard whoa in my family we always fight over the edges of the cake so yes let's get some custard mm, 
yummy. I can't wait to tuck into this. If you're a cake lover like me or you're going to try this recipe, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I've got some more yummy recipes coming up.